So as we told you at the top of the broadcast, the National Weather Service put parts of our area under excessive heat warnings until 8 p.m. So the high heat is having a major impact on people's health and DC leaders are advising residents to pay close attention to how the heat is impacting your mental health. Yeah, because studies show that the heat adds to stress, anxiety, depression and other challenges. And by now, you know, here at WUSA 9, we are focused on environmental and climate reporting. So we sent our environmental reporter Scott Broom on a mission to learn more. In a heat wave like this one, heat related illnesses or HRIs are closely tracked and we'll get to some recent numbers in a moment, but the impact on mental health is not as widely reported. Today, I reviewed data that points to a lot of very real human stress and misery from being so constantly uncomfortable in heat. And that sparked a conversation today with Dr. Jean Moise, the deputy director of DC's Department of Behavioral Health. Most of us are very well aware of the impact of extreme heat on our physical body. But what most people don't realize is that extreme heat can have just as much or more extreme impact on our mental health. Extreme heat causes irritability, depression, what we call a labile uh, mood, extreme fluctuations in emotions and mood, and causes people to be less able to cope. And Dr. Moise pointed out that numerous psychiatric medications like SSRIs for depression can interfere with the body's ability to regulate heat as well as some mental health disorders themselves. The heat may impact your, the medication's ability to control your mood and your symptoms. So it works both ways. The heat affects your medication and your medication affects your body's ability to regulate heat and to function properly. Moe said the precautions are the same for physical heat symptoms, which is to stay as cool as possible, avoid drug and alcohol misuse, and seek help or check in with a doctor if you are not feeling right. Also new now, we have better data on physical symptoms. The most recent weekly reporting from Virginia showed a huge spike in heat-related illness hospitalizations from July 4th through Saturday, July 6th, when the state reported its highest number of daily hospital admissions so far in 2024. Maryland had a similar spike. D.C. did not provide data to WUSA 9. These heat illness effects, both mental and physical, are an expected outcome of extended and repeated heat episodes that are now accompanying climate change, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. Poorer and older people are disproportionately affected. In Washington, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.